This is one of my favorite fishing lures. This is a uh, Super Spook Junior. It is bone colored. It has been sitting in my tackle box for far too long without a whole lot of maintenance. And it still has the original treble hooks on it, which are prone to corrosion. And I don't even think would pierce a lip of anything anymore. And it's covered in rust. Uh, this particular Spook Junior, Super Spook Junior, has caught me lots of fish. And I'd like to refurbish it uh, and make it a little bit better and make it last longer. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to replace it, replace some the treble hooks with some stainless steel, really sharp uh, trocar uh, treble hooks. Those will not corrode. And uh, we're also going to clean up the surface of the plastic. And in order to do this, we need three things. We need some snips. We need a very small flathead screwdriver or something to, to get into the ring to pry out the old treble hooks and add the new ones. And we need some really fine grit sandpaper. You can also use a Scotch-Brite pad for this uh, to clean up the plastic. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually uh, cut off the sharp points of these treble hooks. That way I don't cut myself or poke myself or anything. It's just a safety precaution. We're going to get rid of this. And I'm not cutting the whole hook off just yet because I don't know if I can get it out of the ring or not. I may be able to just... Uh, might be able to just trim this piece off here. Let's just see. Yeah, that probably will be fine. Instead of messing around with those rings, they're really super tiny and they're tough to deal with. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of those. All right, so at this stage, we now have uh, just our Spook Junior, no hooks on it, but we still have the rings. And these, these rings look like they're in pretty decent shape. I'm going to go ahead and keep those. And now we're going to go ahead and clean up the plastic. We're going to grab our 1500 grit sandpaper. And we're going to take off the, uh, the rust. Okay. And polish her up a little bit. Make her look super pretty. All right, well, we've got her uh, all cleaned up and ready for our new treble hooks. So the uh, the key to this is to not stab yourself with these super sharp hooks, and that would be ideal, right? So um, I'm going to use this little tool, and we're going to separate the ring. Just get it opening up, just so you can see this, what I'm doing. I've... Just like a little tiny key ring, right? Give it a little stretch. And these are spring steel, so they don't they don't bend much. And now we're gonna put her in a uh, in a vise. That way uh, we don't have to hold the super spook. We can uh, the vise will do it for us. Let's do that. All right. So very gently. We're going to put this in this vise. We're not going to squeeze too hard because if you do that, it will pop the plastic and you'll no longer be able to use this as a top water lure. It'll sink and we don't want that. So, all right, so we're going to take our screwdriver. This particular one has a little bent tip on it and we're going to separate this ring and create just a little bit of a gap enough to where we can slide our our treble our new treble hook in there all right and get it hooked and clipped in and once you have it slid in there 
you can actually pull the screwdriver out and very carefully wind this new hook on to the ring. Okay, that's the best way, the safest way to do this. And if you even want to get safer, you can put corks or something on these hooks. That they'll go through pretty much anything. Uh, let's do it again on this top one. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, our screwdriver in the ring between, separate it out, grab our new treble hook. You can see how the, the vise makes this a pretty easy job. Slide it over, pull out the screwdriver, very gingerly move, slide our ring over until it pops into place. And there you go. And now you have yourself a refurbished and even better Spook Junior. If you haven't used one of these, at sunset, top water, you catch all kinds of stuff with this. Uh, it kind of mimics like a small mullet and uh, lots of snook, trout, uh, redfish, all kinds of things love these. So give a spook, bone colored spook junior, it's my favorite, bone colored spook junior a try. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Captain House. Please like, please subscribe. I uh, post videos, multiple videos a week. So uh, if you're into this kind of thing, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much, have a great day.